Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning from day two of our trip to Iguazu Falls. Today, we are heading to Argentina. Yeah! Woo! So we actually won't be visiting the falls today because we learned from yesterday and uh, the weather today is still not too great. Tomorrow is looking really nice. So we thought we'd use the opportunity today to cross over the border, head to Argentina, and then head to the falls tomorrow morning. It will be really exciting today, so we just take the bus from over here to the Argentinian border, and hopefully the crossing will be quite easy. We will see. <laughs> so our hotel is actually just over there, just across the road. <laughs> and now we are just waiting for a bus with the name Argentina on. <laughs> Very nice music. <laughs> Great. Cool. So 15 reales, which is about two pounds each to the border to Argentina and even further to the main uh, central station over in Argentina. We are at the border to Argentina. So we had to get off the bus and uh, get our passports stamped. And then we have to wait for the next bus or if we want we can walk into town it's about an hour's walk from the border into the next town uh, which is called puerto iguazu Bom dia. so we got our stamp out of brazil and now we're waiting for the bus again to take us over to the argentinian side where we're going to get our stamp in for there <laughs> Hola, buenos días. Oh, no. No. No, buenos días. Buenos días. Gracias. De nada. ¿Dónde está la cerveza? Mi mi nombre, mi nombre es La Viña. Oh, there we go. Did I get a stamp? Did you? I think there's no stamp. Oh, no stamp. Gracias. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Stamped into Argentina! Woo! <laughs> so now we've got to get back on the bus and make our way to Puerto Iguazu. <laughs> Gracias! Gonna get some supplies for tomorrow and look at this vegetariano maybe four of those and a bunch of those cuatro gracias uh, uh, this one uh, ten en español de des yes des Yes. 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 Okay. Hola. 
So we have arrived at our hostel here in Argentina. <laughs> it's very quaint. So we will check in with you guys tomorrow morning when we go and visit the waterfalls. Ready to hit the road. Goodbye, very uncomfortable bed. <laughs> Good morning from day three of our Guazu Falls trip and day two here in Argentina. Blue skies! <laughs> and Look at it! And the sun is out. It's a perfect weather today. Oh, it was so worth waiting the extra day. So now we're just walking over to the bus terminal and we're going to be taking a bus over to the Argentinian side of the falls. Uh, two, uh, one thousand and six hundred. So go, okay, go and return. Yes, <laughs> on our way. <laughs> so we already booked our tickets online yesterday so we've just got to go to the ticket booth get that validated and then we should be able to make our way into the park yes. so they say that Brazil has the views but Argentina has the falls and actually 80% of Iguazu Falls is in Argentina. So there's actually quite a lot of trails that we can take in this national park. We're going to take two main trails today. We've got the lower trail and the upper trail. Now the lower trail is more in the forest with some viewpoints and the upper trail is right out on top of the waterfall. So let's make our way to the lower trail then and see a little bit of rainforest and hoping that we see some nice animals. Okay, if a jaguar attacks you, you have to just tell the jaguar that he's very, very pretty. Hugging and kissing. And hugging and kissing him, yes. okay? <laughs> and if you're convincing enough, mm -hmm. he might fall in love with you and maybe he doesn't eat you. There's a toucan up there. First toucan. Wow. And he's quite big. It's a beautiful bird. We've only been on the trail for a few yeah. minutes and already we've got some amazing wildlife. You can hear all the birds calling in the trees. This place is full of wildlife. We're already a bit peckish, so we're having some of those empanadas that we got yesterday. So empanada is this little pastry with spinach and cheese inside. Super tasty! And the, really the perfect little snack for on the go. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice snack. <laughs> First views of the waterfall system from the Argentinian side. You can't even see anything because the water is just hammering down there. <laughs> wow, it looks like the river is super high today from all the rain over the past few days. Have a look how brown it is. <laughs> Magical! So much water, so much water! Just two weeks ago they had to close the entire park because the water level was so crazy high. They said it had 10 times normal flow and at the moment it must be pretty high as well.
Oh no! The rest of this circuit, the lower circuit, is closed. So we can't get any closer to the falls from this side. Oh. So we have to go back around and start the upper circuit. So we're just getting onto the upper trail now. And in front of us, we can see some more kuatis. Yes. Right here, right here, right here. He just went past us. <laughs> oh, I think there's another one over there. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god, there are two more. Three more. Hello. 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 So many. <laughs> wow. And they're so cute. They really like to walk on the um, railing here. Oh. Like little ballerinas. Look, there's one more. Hello. So many monkeys here. <laughs> <laughs> we can see probably like three or four monkeys climbing along here on the trees. There's some crazy lookouts from this part, but it is super busy here. <laughs> it's like Mount Everest up here. Sal de tu nido. Paloma linda, anda y prueba tu volar No tengas miedo mi palomita, que nada te va a pasar Anda y prueba tus alas bonitas, sin que el temor te limite Vuela paloma bien alto mi vida, no dudes que siempre amanece, ya amanecerá Paloma linda, paloma, paloma linda, paloma, paloma linda, paloma, paloma linda. Look at this! Wow! When they say Argentina has the falls. Argentina really has the falls. Look at this. And we're like right on top of it now. Look at that. Oh my god. It just gets crazier and crazier. Now they build like this long walkway across the river here. Yeah, this is the, the final walkway to the final viewpoint here on the upper trail. Yeah, it's absolutely epic. Argentina! Wow, incredible viewpoint after incredible viewpoint here at Iguazu Falls in Argentina. We will make our way now back to have some nice lunch. We found a nice quiet place here in the sun, surrounded by the river, which uh, is nice. We will have some tasty cheese bowls <laughs> for lunch. A little bit of fruit, some bananas, a nice chilled lunch in the sun. Oh, look, Lavi, we've got a lunch guest. Oh yeah, he definitely can smell the cheese bowls. Oh my god, we're not going to feed you, buddy, I'm sorry. Sorry, dude. You have to find some worms. Find some worms for yourself. You are so cute. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, <laughs> he stole my banana. Hey, that's really. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, we unintentionally fed him, but we really didn't mean to. Oh no! Anyway, it looks like that he's enjoying it. <laughs> At least somebody gets to. He's licking something from my finger. Uh, I think he's hungry. Uh, no way, the safari continues. There's a little alligator or caiman down here. It's so crazy. <laughs> wow. He looks like that he's sleeping actually. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Oh, awesome. Wow. The safari never ends. <laughs> Can't believe it, but there is another animal here, just in front. It's an armadillo. Yeah, I can see something moving here. <laughs> I can see something moving. I think we lost him. Oh, listen, listen. Armadillo. Armadillo. Sí. Tattoo is a español. Español, sí. An armadillo? Y armadillo, más o menos lo mismo para que entiendan, digo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, they were really, really hard to uh, actually spot. But there was armadillos there. Oh yes. my god. Oh. Wow. Animal number, I don't even know. I think we stopped counting. It's like we've pretty much checked every animal that was on the board at the front when we <laughs> arrived. We literally checked them all off. Very cool. They have a train. <laughs> cool. <laughs> we were just coming back to the entrance and then we saw, oh my God, there's a train. We've got to get on the train. And we have done already our 10,000 steps. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> So there we go, <laughs> finishing the journey with a little train ride, which was a surprise. <laughs> wow, Iguazu, what a visit. What an incredible experience. I'm so glad that we had the opportunity to come here to see both sides. I'm just blown away, really. I need a few days to, to take all this in. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a really, really crazy few days. But yeah, two sides, two different countries, two different weathers, a completely different experience <laughs> from both sides. Yes. Yeah, really something special to come here. I'm really glad that we came. Yeah, absolutely. So for now, all that's left is for us to take our bus back over to Brazil and then head to our night bus, which will take us back to Curitiba and Bumblebee. Yes, Bumblebee, we miss you. <laughs> Disaster! We just uh, got here to the night bus station and found out that all buses to most major cities from Foz do Iguazu have been cancelled. They just uh, announced the election here in Brazil, the election result. The supporters of Bolsonaro have basically blocked most major roads in the south of Brazil. Uh, including the road that we need to get to Curitiba. Everything is blocked off, no one can travel, the streets are burning, it's like really crazy stuff going on at the moment. So basically, bottom line is Bumblebee is gonna have to wait a bit longer and we are stuck here in Foz do Iguazu. We'll see what happens in a couple of days. Look at that! Whoa! 